Hey, White Rock 85, coming to you from the old basement this morning with three versions of uh, an AR-15 uh, on the table today. One reel, uh, the Rock River, two, not so much. Now, what I'm going to do today, uh, nothing really to do with the AR-15s, but the Mossy Oaks graphic kit. Uh, I've done a couple of the shotguns in there. I have a video out there of it. Like the product, and uh, way back when I was doing uh, my review of the Mossberg 715T, I mentioned sometime that I wanted to paint it. Uh, well, uh, instead of going ahead and painting it, I decided to go and use the uh, the Mossy Oak graphics kit. Uh, again, used them before, liked them. Uh, this one. Actually, uh, for this, I got just a roll. Uh, it's just a plain roll. You reach back here and grab it. Uh, it's just one strip of uh, of the tape. Uh, it's not cut out. It's does it doesn't conform to your stock or your barrel. So everything I'm going to have to do, uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and cut that out today. And. It's not really too hard. I decided to do it that way because the 715T really doesn't. Uh, it's supposed to emulate the uh, the AR-15, but uh, it really doesn't. It doesn't have a charging handle. It doesn't have a forward assist. Uh, it doesn't have the ejection port on the side like it really does. The safety, etc., etc. So uh, instead of using the kit, I actually decided to go ahead and save a little bit of money. Uh, it'll cost me a little bit of extra time, but I don't really care because I'm not doing anything else. As a matter of fact, I already started. And so far, this is the other side of it. Uh, this is the winter camouflage pattern. And uh, so far, coming out pretty good. Still have the, the handle to do over here, uh, our, our stock. Uh, and I am going to do the barrel. Now, if you were going to put this in on, on an AR-15, they don't recommend, if you happen to have the tax stamp and shoot full auto, they don't recommend uh, putting that on the barrel. Um, I don't have full auto, of course, uh, but I still don't think I'd put it on the barrel, the AR-15, because when I'm out there and you start sort of getting a little bit into it, you start cranking those rounds out just about as fast as you can, and uh, we've all seen the end of the barrel starting to smoke because uh, the oil's burning off. And it's, and it's super, super hot. It's not like something you're ever going to grab. So, uh, I don't recommend putting it on there if, uh, if you're single shot, but that's just me. If you want to, that's certainly up to you. Uh, I am going to go ahead and put that on the, the Mossberg, uh, because again, it's a 22, and even if I am shooting a lot, it's not going to really get to the point of being so hot that uh, I'm going to have to worry about anything happening to the graphics itself have what I need on the table over here. Again, I have my graphics kit. I got this off of Amazon. You can also get it off the Mossy Oak website uh, in some different uh, lengths and widths. If you don't want this, the, the thin strip like I have here, they have uh, some, a lot of different variations. Uh, you can get it 24 inches wide, 12 inches wide, and different lengths. Uh, so uh, you can certainly do that if that uh, uh, you want to go ahead and do it that way. Uh, I have my trusty razor blade. I have some alcohol that I'm going to use to clean the firearm with to make sure all the grease is off. Now again, since this is a Mossberg, there's not a lot of grease on the outside because it is a 22 Plankster inside of this plastic shell. So there's not really a lot of oil and grease on the outside of it. But I'm going over it anyway just to make sure uh, some oil residue from my hand. Uh, anything uh, could be on there. You want to make sure it sticks really well. A uh, hair dryer heat gun. Uh, if you're a manly man, you feel you have to use a heat gun to, to assist you with this, go ahead and do it. If you have a hair dryer in the house, that certainly works uh, just as well. You don't have to go out and buy a heat gun for this. And since I did a full video on this, again, if you want to check that out for all the how to's on how to do this, and uh, uh, go ahead. But I'm just going to kind of let this video roll a little bit. And uh, we're going to cover things up. We're going to cover the stock up. Uh, these are Troy Battle Rails on here that I've already done uh, already. And uh, that turned out really nice. Uh, I'm not going to do the rail because that's going to be a little bit too tough to do. 
uh, but I'm going to go ahead and cover up this uh, optic. Again, the great thing about this, if you hate it, you take it off and you've done nothing. You haven't painted your rifle uh, and you haven't messed anything else up. Uh, what else I have sitting here? This, as you can hear it. Uh, this is a Crossman AR-17. It's actually a BB gun. Great for doing this. If you have an airsoft rifle, if you have a BB gun, you have a paintball gun, you want to camouflage it up, they have 18 different colors, uh, you can go ahead and do that. And uh, I'm not going to certainly do this. I just brought this down to show you this is a possibility. But uh, you could certainly do that. Your BB gun, your airsoft, your paintball, or the real thing if you really want to do it. Yeah, this is uh, Rock River. If I, I wanted to do this, I probably would get the full kit. Uh, because everything's cut nicely, but I decided to go ahead and use it on that uh, 22 Plankster or Mossberg 715T, whichever you like to call it, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started and, and finish off the rest of this. Go ahead and cut some of this and uh, finish off the grip, and uh, this side is getting to the point about being finished. Again, if you have the kits, uh, pieces like this for the grip are already cut out for you and you just put them right on very very simple Don't have to go through with any of this extra uh, That I'm doing right now But if you have the time and you want to save a, a buck or two uh, You can certainly do it this way And I certainly don't mind having any leftovers one thing you don't want to do when you start getting uh, say pieces like this you definitely don't want to throw them out because this can be used on anything. It could be used on a scope, it could be used on a binoculars, it could be used on a camera, uh, anything. Um, again, this is a little on the white side, has a little bit, just a, a couple pieces here. It does have the nice mossy oak uh, winter pattern. And uh, I could just go ahead and, and put that right like that. I may just cut that out and put that right onto here, uh, which I think I may do. And you can do that. Uh, you can say if you didn't like as much of the white on here, uh, you could cut some of this out and just place that right over the top. Uh, this piece right here is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. Uh, but it also almost looks like it's just one. Now, of course, you can see here where I cut almost not tell. Uh, that I, I put everything together so it matches up real real nicely. I have my rough cut uh, piece out and I'm actually going to go ahead and cover cover this piece of it right up just because it has a little bit more of the camo in there and right over top but uh, if you wanted uh, just to do the bottom of it uh, you could certainly do the bottom of it. It's up to you. You're the boss. Uh, you do it just exactly how you like it. And I've just separated the tape off of the backing uh, and you can go ahead and place that down yeah, if you don't like where you placed it uh, you can certainly pick that back up again uh, so there's plenty plenty enough stickum on there for that to uh, uh, still adhere and you want to make sure you go ahead and save your backing because basically you've just created a pattern uh, for the other side and real quick uh, just reverse it and now I have the pattern for the other side is for, for the grip uh, so as you're going and doing both sides go ahead and save these pieces uh, they're going to come in handy for you this particular kit did come with this yellow piece of plastic and basically what that does uh, helps you actually get your lines right and also assist you getting any bubbles wrinkles out uh, if your kit doesn't come with one of these you can use a uh, an old say like gift card Amazon gift card whatever type that you have uh, you can certainly use that but this is uh, this is pretty nice it's a little bit heavier than a card and it's got these little grips on there for you I have a little bit more I have to cut right here around the trigger uh, so that looks right uh, and I didn't go all the way around uh, the handle on this uh, because this is the 715 and you clean this by actually uh, taking this plastic breaking it in half so I didn't go all the way around there because I'd have to cut through and uh, I don't really think it matters too much one of the reasons 
why I chose this color too. It has a lot of black in it, and it just goes along with the with the black pretty good. Uh, I have this with the uh, the mossy oak winter pattern on there. I'm just going to sort of cut around, and there we have the uh, mossy oak winter. Now you can't see around there. Now if it was a little bit more of camouflage, you wouldn't be able to. But uh, tell you the truth. Uh, it's up to you. If you don't like it, you pull it back off again. So that's the great thing about this stuff. Uh, me, it doesn't matter one bit again, because uh, this is the, the Mossberg 715T. Maybe it was an AR, maybe I wouldn't do that. But uh, I don't mind. I could have cut it a little differently, but that's perfect for me. I'll probably put uh, one piece in here, and again, some of the extra that I just uh, had will fit in there fine. Uh, if it's not that piece, uh, it'll be this piece. So I'm going to put right in here, and then I'll probably go all the way over from one side over uh, to here. Uh, if you want to cover all these up and then cut these back out, uh, just make sure this razor that you have is brand new uh, right out of the box, because uh, if you don't, uh, it starts to pull and tear a little bit. So you want to make sure that uh, this is an exacto. Uh, but make sure this is uh, nice and uh, sharp and perfect for you because that's really going to make a difference when you're starting to do some of these cuts. And I have our piece for the stock finished and done. Again, not going to get uh, too crazy with cuts over this. I think I'm just going to go ahead and straight from here, uh, but all the way around the other side. And our stock is finished. Now this was a solid piece of white, and I just took this one strip that had a little bit of character to it and uh, put that on. Uh, so now stock actually just about the uh, whole left side is finished except for the barrel. I'm just finishing up on the right side grip and the upper receiver piece around the safety and again coming out. Uh, pretty darn nice. Uh, I put a little bit in here as an accent piece also. It's one of the great things is it's really up to you to decide uh, how you want to do it. Uh, this white isn't quite as forgiving as the straight camo patterns. Uh, when you have more of a camo, solid camo pattern like this, again without the white, really, really, really blends in. And this right here, uh, this is another piece and I cut a little wave in there and so it kind of blends in when you cut some wave lines in there even with the white. Well I have the receiver, the grip, magazine finished on the right hand side. I took one of the Troy battle rails off. Uh, these actually come off with a, a bullet ballpoint pen. Uh, I do have a video out there just, just uh, search Troy battle rail it'll come up. But I cut the screw holes out uh, very easy to do and uh, so far looking really good happy the way it's coming out just finished up the uh, Troy battle rail and again all the the other parts are finished uh, still have the uh, sight to go uh, did, did go ahead and do the barrel of course I'm not going to do the the, uh, the muzzle brake on there uh, these Troy battle rails if you've never seen them before you take a bullet or a uh, somewhat sharp object and actually just put it in there little flap lifts up and you can slide that uh, off. So they're pretty nice. Uh, gives you a nice grip. Uh, if you just have the rails and you want to cover those rails up for a little bit more comfort because they look great you can hang a lot of things off of them but if you ever actually try to hold one they're not really really too comfortable. So uh, just about finished. Again have the barrel done. One more battle rail to go and that uh, at sight over here and we're going to be finished. Well here it is, finished. Now you can see all the little pieces I have all over the place, but uh, there it is. Looking really good. Uh, worked out well. Transformed this into basically a, a drab black rifle uh, into this nice winter camouflage. Uh, there on the other side. Uh, really looking great. Liked how it turned out. Uh, took me a few hours, uh, but that's what it's going to do. Uh, if you go to do a shotgun or rifle, um, 
not going to take you that long, but especially with the AR and all the different pieces on there, uh, it took me a little bit longer. And of course, uh, this wasn't from a kit, from a pre-cut kit. This was just from the roll and uh, have about, you know, that's probably about 18 inches left uh, that I could do something with. Um, gonna go ahead and keep this uh, aside for now uh, not do anything with it one thing uh, I did do and I did this the last time uh, picked up a license frame plate uh, at I don't know, Walmart or one of the auto stores and it's just black around the outside and I'm gonna take my camo and uh, camo this around the end of this frame up and I've done the my other one for the Jeep I'm going to do this one for one of our other cars, and really looks good. I've had that on there since last spring. Uh, for the most part, when I park my car, the sun comes up and it beats on that license plate uh, until about 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And I've had no fading whatsoever on that. Still looks great. Been out in the sun. I've been through car washes. Uh, so this, this will actually hold up. If I've gone through car washes, and it, it's been out for almost a year now, probably about nine months, um, are really, really, really holding up. Uh, again, I didn't do the uh, didn't do the grip on this. I'm not sure whether I'm going to yet. I kind of like the feel of this uh, just like it is, so I think I'm going to leave that uh, just, like it, uh, just like it is right here. Mossy Oak Graphics uh, Camo Tape. Again, this was just a one-hole roll, uh, not pre-cut, but if you're going to do a shotgun, uh, or a rifle, or your uh, AR-15, M4, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they do have the kits for it, and uh, they really look good. Uh, 18 different camos for you. Uh, I think they guarantee on fading. I'm not sure if it's right on here. I think it's five years. Well, seven-year durability, and I think five years on fading. Uh, so that's that's a pretty darn good warning as far as I'm concerned. Just like I said, I uh, went through that... Uh, Went through that car wash plenty of times with the Jeep getting the mud off from the hunting seasons, and that license plate looked great. With the magic of Photoshop, able to kind of give you a little bit of before and after look for both of them, and you can really see quite a change going across it. Again, the white is probably your most difficult to work with because you, all the wrinkles are going to show, or some of the wrinkles that you get in there will show if you use a darker camo uh, you don't get that whatsoever uh, you don't see them at all here's that license plate frame and again I'll give you a close up too but uh, just bang this out in about 10 minutes and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna give this to uh, Syntex 77 for a uh, maybe a late Christmas present and put it in on his uh, vehicle this is White Rook 85 signing out off the Del Marva Peninsula today with the Mossy Oaks graphic do-it-yourself camo vinyl wrap on the Mossberg 715T. Again, this wasn't a kit. This was just one long piece of tape. Uh, cut everything myself, but uh, really turned out great. Very, very happy with uh, how it looks and uh, certainly doesn't look like the same firearm whatsoever. Uh, no snow on the ground or I'd, uh, I'd take it outside and bring it in the woods and show you a little bit with the, with the snow in the winter. But unfortunately no snow yet here in Delaware. So uh, everybody, have a good one.